3-0 Pacers behind the gate moving up. Progress Pace final purse, 350000 They're off from the center of the track. There goes a radar sign out for lead mystery man down toward the inside. Ice-T right alongside in third. Then it's Armbro Animate in fourth. Racing up fifth, what an artist, followed by Canyon Wind. Then comes the real Dion and Brooklyn Hanover trails the field midway on the first turn. Coming to the outside, that's Mystery Man who wants the lead. Back to second goes Radar Sign. Getting away in third was Ice T. Armbar Animate is in fourth, 26 and four fifths. Moving by the stands, and it's Mystery Man. Dave Miller, they've got the lead a length and a half over Radar Sign. Ice T is there to the outside. Armbro Animate, what an artist covered up. Third over there, that's Canyon Wind. Up the inside, the real Dion. Alongside is Brooklyn Hanover in last. Into the clubhouse turn they go. And Mystery Man's got the lead. Radar sign sitting in second up on the outside. Into third is Armbro Animate. What an artist. Second over and fourth down at the rail, Ice T. Then comes Canyon Wind. The trailers are the real Dion and Brooklyn Hanover trails. 55 and 3 fifths. They head up the back stretch, and it's Mystery Man with that lead. Radar sign, three wide now. Here comes What an Artist trying to get around Armbro Animate. Following three wide is Canyon Wind. They go toward the end of the back stretch. It's Mystery Man by just ahead. Right alongside now is What an Artist waiting there the whole way. Luke with Radar sign. Between horses, Armbro Animate. Canyon Wind, three deep, not getting with the real Ice T. Then comes the real Dion of Brooklyn Hanover. They're coming toward the top of the stretch. And turning for home, Mystery Man with a short lead. What an Artist, Radar sign waiting for the passing lane. They come through the stretch. Here comes Radar sign down the inside. What an Artist, Radar sign. In front, what an artist, tight for third, Canyon win for third, 51 and 4. Circle making a presentation. Felicity Director Marv Bachrat, along with Assistant to the President of Dover Downs, Charles Lockhart, Manager of Harness Racing, John Hensley, and also in the winner's circle. Beth Steele, Chairperson of the Delaware Racing Commission. here at Dover Downs to the winner's circle. A couple of years ago, Powerful Toy was the winner of the Progress Pace and number two. It's exciting to be back here and with a good buddy. I want to dedicate this race to my father who got me involved in the sport in 1979 by taking a small piece of a horse named Niatros. That's how the Newman family got involved in the sport. My dad's here with me tonight. And you certainly have come a long way since then. In fact, you had two horses and the mystery man raced very well himself, got a nice piece of the purse. But uh, there we go. Uh, Radar Sign has been a horse that uh, has had a little hard luck at times, and he's a very fast horse, and he's a sound horse, and we got some good money later in the year. I've always loved the horse. We gave 70000 75000 for him as a yearling, and he's actually out of a three-quarter sister to Powerful Toy. So the family's been good to me, and it's great to be here in the wind circle. It always feels great winning one like this. Speaking of uh, Powerful Toy, uh, his half-brother is racing next week. Incredible Toy, and he's a pretty nice colt. We've uh, kept him uh, covered up a little bit during the year. It's only his ninth start of the year. He didn't draw so good in the sixth post, but I think Mike will get us a good trip out of there, and he should make a nice three-year-old. I love the family, and I own Toy Lee Hanover, and it goes to tell you in harness racing, if you find a good family and stick with it, sometimes you can get lucky. Newman family certainly has been lucky. Luke Wallet has done a lot of uh, good driving for you as well. And Luke, uh, tonight, that was quite a performance. Yes, well, um, like uh, Jonathan said, you know, he's had a little hard luck. Well, if he can call it hard luck, we were crying out of one eye because uh, he's come up second and thirds at times in the big ones where, uh, you know, we thought we could win. But uh, tonight he prevailed. He's certainly a resilient horse. Early in the year, he was a sensation at the Meadowlands, and uh, right now, at the end of the year, he's back again. Yes, well, uh, you know, that's the story with uh, Bill Robinson. Uh, when he gets along good with a horse, you know, they're durable, and uh, they stick around for a while. 
How about for yourself? Uh, uh, you've uh, made plans to go to Ontario for your home base, but I'm sure you'll be coming uh, to the U.S. and a lot of stakes as well. Yes, and uh, too bad they don't have stake races during the winter time because I think I'm going to be freezing over there. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll get used to it, and if they can do it, I can do it. Thank you very much, Luke Wallet, the driver, and Jonathan Newman, one of the owners, along with uh, the Samson Street Stable and Matthias Meisinger, and uh, the winner of this year's richest progress pace ever is Radar Sign.